After you finish logging these files, we need you to go through the missing parcel reports. You'll need to email the finished reports to the U.S. Depot only. You can then help me with... What was that noise? Jesus Christ! Tony! What? What happened? They're, they're, they're in the building. You, you, you gotta stop them. Terrorists here? What are we gonna do? Right. I don't know about you, but I sure as hell ain't gonna wait around for these terrorists to kill me. Now go in the utility room and find that flashlight. Now! God damn it! Phones are out! These terrorists must be working their way up the building as we speak. I'm gonna sneak down and see if I can find someone with a mobile phone before these terrorists get to them. I want you to get up to the roof. Attach to the wall the lever. If you pull that, the distress beacons will be activated, and then it'll only be a matter of time before the authorities arrive. Now go! Go! Hey man, I know you. You work here, right? I don't know what the hell is going on here tonight. I was cleaning the third floor, and I saw these guys with guns on the security monitors. Dave told me to come here and switch these damn lights on while he went to get help. I pulled that lever over there, but it ain't doing nothing. These intruders must have disabled the power on the ninth floor. I was thinking about going down and resetting the power by creeping into these vents. But I can't reach into the damn vent shaft. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't I give you a boost into the vents, and you go reset the power, yeah? Okay, I'm ready. You climb on my back and jump into the vents. I think you're gonna need to use that flashlight to carry you down there. Remember, the ninth floor. When you're there, you should be able to hear the electrical equipment. Good luck, man.
Did you just hear that? I don't hear nothing. You're talking shit, man. I'm not. I'm telling you, I fucking heard something. Listen.
target has been located and secured on the seventh floor. Please advise. Wait a sec, I know you. You work here, don't you? My name's Dave. You probably recognize me, right? Sorry, you'll have to excuse me, I'm a little bit shaken up. I just killed that guy over there a few minutes ago. One thing's for sure, these guys are definitely well organized. I saw them on the security monitors about the same time as they came in the building. I've searched most of the building trying to find help, and you're the first employee I've come across. Listen, there's, there's something else too. It's my wife. She's somewhere in the building, I can't find her. Her name's Jessica. She, she normally works on the front desk, but we can't just wait around here. We have to do something. I've seen no other employees on my way up the building, but they must be somewhere. These intruders must have taken them somewhere and have them locked off. We need to find them. Right, this is what we're going to have to do. You, go search the lower floors. Some of the rooms are locked off. See if you can gain entry to them. Meanwhile, I'll do my own search and see what I can find out. One more thing. You're going to need to do me a favour. If you find Jessica, you mustn't leave her. You find a safe place to hide and wait for me to find you. Understood? Right then, let's go. You go down, see what you can find. Good luck, man. Man.
Huh? How the hell did you end up in there? What the hell? <coughs> the building is now under our complete control. Oh, we are well aware of the employees that are in hiding, trying to stop us. And we have a message for one of you. A Mr. David Fulton. Oh no, please don't be her. Bring her here. Jessica, do you have any last words to say to your husband? No, leave her alone! It looks as though she's ruined the surprise. Oh well. If you want to see her again, I suggest you make your way to my office. And don't keep me waiting. I'm not a patient man. This is bad. Frank? What the hell is Frank doing involved with these guys? I have to stop him. He's got Jessica. Quick, follow me! There'll be some keys in the filing cabinet next to the table. Hurry! Get up here! Get this guy out, now! Right, stay back. I'm gonna go and pull the pin on this grenade. Take cover! Okay, go! Run! Run! Take cover! Taylor, do you read me? Over. Aha, you found one of the radios. Let's see if we can listen to one of the transmissions. Max, listen. what the hell is going on? Something's gone wrong, Frank. There's an explosion. We've lost communication with Taylor. I heard the explosion, you moron. Everyone hold their current positions. Max, switch the power back on for the elevator. I'm going to take a look at the servers. Roger that. So he's gone up to the 15th floor. I've got an idea. We could use the window washer. Quick, follow me. Right, I should have clearance to switch these window washers back on. Hang on a second. A sec yep, I got it. Okay. Use it to get to the roof. Hurry. 
I'll wait here. Go, go! keep them on a disc somewhere in the building. It would have been over with by now if you would have just got the disc in the first place. We don't have time to argue, and we certainly don't have time to search the entire building. Sooner or later people are going to start wondering why those lights are flashing on the roof. Without the access codes we need to keep drilling, and more drilling will take even longer. Someone must know where these codes are kept. We're gonna have to start executing the hostages until somebody tells us. Is the car park all set? Yeah. As soon as we've got the money, we need to regroup it as far away as possible. Wakey, wakey. I gather you had a nice sleep. I took the liberty of removing your weapons and our radio. I suppose you've got a few questions on your mind. Like, where are the other employees? All you need to know is that they're very secure. And unfortunately, they share the same fate as you. Death. You see, what you probably aren't aware of is that right now, as we speak, the company car park is packed with enough explosives to turn this building into rubble. And I have full intention of making you see it to the very end. I think it's the least I can do, after your antics tonight. Frank, we're moving the last dash of the money. Ah, at last. Let me know when you're done. You look surprised. What, you thought we needed the access codes? Ha, <laughs> you stupid. We knew where you were as soon as you picked up that radio. Ever heard of a locator device? This is where we say our goodbyes. You know how it is. Places to go, companies to rob. I'll see you in another life. Max, is there still no sign of that security guard? No, there's still no sign, Frank. Okay, relay me onto the company. Okay, it's ready. Attention, Mr. Porter. We gave you a chance. You chose to defy us. You 
You even sent a friend to do your own dirty work. Your attempts have failed. Max? Yes, sir. Kill this one. If the terrorists in the building were not yet aware, our goal is complete. We got what we came for. There are only a few seconds left before the building goes down, so get out while you can and get to the wrong. over here. Good morning, I'm Trevor Jones, and welcome to KBC News. A few hours ago, the company headquarters of Parcel Passages was completely destroyed. Initial reports indicate that terrorists were involved. We're now going to go to Sally Lloyd live at the scene. Good morning, Sally. Yes, good morning, Trevor. As you can see behind me, the local fire departments have begun a frantic rescue operation, slipping through the rubble, hoping to find survivors. Over the past hour, I have spoken to two or three eyewitnesses who believe they saw someone through the window. He was seen armed and was wearing a blue shirt. Another thing that has been brought up is the emergency lights on the roof. Apparently, these lights were switched on a while before the building collapsed, yet no authorities arrived at the scene. I know it's early, but do the authorities have an estimated death toll at this moment? As far as estimated figures go, they are unsure at this time. However, they believe there were only a few employees in the building at that time. Thank you very much, Sally. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about this over the coming weeks. But for now, I'm Trevor Jones, and you were watching KBC News. Have a safe day.
Thank you.